Hello guys, this video is about the autosomal DNA, so the phenotype traits and GD match results of a Zuzuana hunter-gatherer woman who lived in the Upper Paleolithic in Georgia. Moving on to phenotype, this is what she looked like. Maina Shakot is predicting her to have dark brown eyes, snub-shaped nose and black hair. Wysak is not giving her an eye color prediction because she wasn't genotyped for BH2 variant. And... Um, she really did not have any of the variants implicated in light skin, so there is no reason to believe that she would have light skin, although Snipper, Snipper Free does predict her with intermediate skin tone. Um, with hair ID, she's predicted to have straight or wavy or curly hair, probably not kinky hair, and she did not have BH4. Uh, once again, BH2 3 and one is kind of undetermined, it wasn't in the file, however, you can pretty much make an educated guess, a very good guess, and say that she probably did not have those mutations. When it comes to the Pro 319 Pro variant of DRD2, she did not have the European no-go learner mutation and had a higher risk of schizophrenia, which is typical for everybody who's not a European. And she also had the warrior genotype in Combs Valmet variant, which is also typical for everybody who is not a European. The implications of having this kind of Val Val genotype or warrior with the IO genotype is that she would have quicker reuptake of dopamine, which means less dopamine in the system, which means problems with attention and motivation. However, her better stress resiliency. She actually had this super rare genotype that increases the risk of dementia, so like Alzheimer's. And she also had this, once again, a very rare genotype that increases the risk of hearing loss. And when it comes to polygenic traits, she had a dead average risk score for Parkinson's disease, an average risk score for bipolar disorder. She had a below average risk score for type 2 diabetes. Uh, an average risk score for asthma, she had a very low risk score for schizophrenia, uh, she had a very low risk score for coronary heart disease, and she had a pretty low risk score for brain aneurysm. And this is what she scores with MZLP World Ancient Roots K10. Now, I decided to show this calculator result first because this calculator is, out of all the calculators I've found, is the least susceptible to kind of modern drift, so it's most applicable to ancient individuals. Uh, with this calculator, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Sardinian plus Dalit, or there is also Sindhi plus Sardinian, so a mixture of Sardinian plus some kind of uh, South Asian, but of course she has she had some genetic affinities to South Asia, which you will see with other uh, results too. And this is what she's scoring with MZLP K11. Now the reason she's not scoring just Neolithic plus basal, like Pinar Basi, for example, is because this is a very ancient individual, very archaic individual. She did not have a lot of this modern uh, West Asian drift, right? that Pinar Basi and the rest had. And because she did not have this modern drift, she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of mostly Gravetian, which is another ancient group, except Gravetian is a group in Europe and completely different. Gravetians contributed to a completely different group of populations. However, they are ancient people and I guess Gravetians are more similar to her in terms of raw DNA than um, than modern ethnicities of the West Asia. This is what she scores with Harappa World. And just like any archaic individual, uh, who doesn't have a lot of modern genetic drift associated with any modern group. Uh, she's kind of scoring a mixture of a bunch of different groups. And uh, with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Romanian plus Libyan, or like Slovenian plus Egyptian, or French plus Yemenite. So, um, you know, very high distances because she's got a lot of nonsense admixtures that these people don't have to date. It's, it, it's just unresolved genetic drift. That's what I call it. And this is what she scores with Ethio Helix K10. And this might be the best calculator for her because it doesn't uh, separate the Eurasian admixture into like East Eurasian or West Eurasian. Here it's all just French. And this is, I think, where the idea of um, Zuzuana having some kind of basal Eurasian, if, if that group even existed, admixture comes from. Because uh, that's, that's kind of the logical assumption to make here that North Africa is some kind of basal Eurasian uh, category here on this calculator. This is what she scores with Pondian LK10, and here, as you can see, she's scoring quite a lot of ASI, Ancestral South Indian. So yeah, these um, Zuzuana people, they had some affinities to South Asians for sure, and with the Oracle, uh, the first the first model is actually Sardinian plus Borusho, and Borusho are the people in Pakistan, so, you know, the Oracle here is saying that she's got a lot of South Asian-like drift, South Asian-like admixture. 
and this is what she scores with Gidrosi AK3. Uh, she's scoring a lot of East Eurasian and Sub-Saharan African. Once again, just because it's an ancestral, it's a very ancient individual, and uh, she did not have the modern genetic drift, the modern West Asian or modern European genetic drift that these calculators look for. Finally, this is the official G25 coordinates for this sample now. Um, as you can see on the closest populations, you see there is a population called Zuzuana simulated G25. Uh, the reason you're seeing that here is because I was so shocked by the results of this sample that I had to personally run it through uh, Rotosim G25, which is an online tool for uh, G25 simulations from raw data file. And no, it is a, it is a legitimate sample. It's closest to this academic Zuzuana sample. So I got the right sample. What you see here in this video is authentic results. That's how I verified it here. And But it's very interesting that with, G, with G25, this sample is scoring all kinds of things. There's even Malayan and Juang and Kosipe and Kurumba, which are groups in uh, India. And there's also Biaka, which are Sub-Saharan Africans. So this is a very uh, diverse result by modern population standards. By modern standards for West Asia, this would be an extremely diverse result, but this is an ancient individual who did not have a lot of the modern drift, so that's why the result is like this. Now, uh, thank you guys for watching the video until the end. I really appreciate that. You can uh, download this sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. And leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.